Okay, we are we are recording. All right, now would you have a seat there? Have a seat there. Okay, I told you. Okay, didn't I tell you? Okay. Just start it right here. Here. Okay. Okay. Mama, here. Here you go. Okay. You okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. All right. This is a just a bottle of carbonated water, and uh, it was carbonated uh, with the gizmo right here. This is a fizz gizz cap. Mm -hmm. It's a one-way valve that allows you to put uh, CO2 uh, into a bottle if this uh, that's capped with this cap. Basically, it lets uh, air flow through like this. Air will go through the fizz gizz cap and into the bottle by way of the valve. Alright, the way it's done, the way you carbonate water, and just bear in mind this water's already been pretty much carbonated, you, you generally squeeze the uh, uh, liquid to the top to get the air out. Alright, then you take the uh, Biz Giz uh, dispenser and you squirt it in there. This is set to about 120 psi, which is a safe working pressure for uh, most of these pet bottles. Uh, if you're afraid of it, set it to less pressure. You've got your own regulator there, but uh, you, know, you don't want anybody doing anything that scares them. And uh, as you can see, it slows down to a trickle as the pressure builds up in the bottle to roughly 120 psi, at which time the uh, flow will stop because the uh, pressure inside the bottle is equal to the pressure coming out the tip of the nozzle. So if you shake it up and dissolve it, then uh, some of the uh, CO2 goes into solution with the water, pressure drops inside the bottle, therefore you can put just a little bit more in there. And right now, we, if we don't shake it up and we try to put um, more in it, you see that not too much will go. But, if you'll shake it up pretty good, and dissolve some of that CO2 that was up here in this headspace into the water, then you know a little more should go in. Okay, you see it speeds up just a little bit there. All right, that's some pretty highly highly carbonated water and uh, hard as a rock. That's for sure. All right. So the seltzer water that you make at home with your Soda Stream product, or any other by any other uh, company's uh, seltzer maker, isn't making your uh, uh, drinks do this. Then it's just not carbonating your water as good as it could be. Now is it? Way to stop those bottles, or those bubbles, just to cap it off. And as the pressure builds up in the head space, it begins to equalize. The pressure in the head space will equal to the pressure in the uh, liquid. If you want to speed the process up, you shake it, and it'll pretty much speed the process up. All of the pressures equal now throughout the liquid and the head space. All right.